Hello Taurus, this is your pick and date reading for January 26th through February 1st and we are going to see how your person, the person that you're thinking about, feels. How they feel, okay? Whether it's about you, whether it's about a situation, whatever, okay? So this will be deck one, deck two, and deck three. All right, guys? So when I start posing a question, you go ahead and think about it in your head. Um, you know, insert the person's name that you're thinking about here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and move these out of the way. So we can go ahead and get started. Starting with deck one here. Let's see. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter sign. As I split the deck, we can already see that somebody's stuck thinking about this situation, feeling like there's nothing they can do. Okay. Let's see. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter sign. How do they feel about me? How do they feel? How do they feel? Hmm, they feel like, you know, it's over. Um, maybe that, you know, they would like to change that, bring it back. Um, but for, for now, they feel, they're feeling like it's over. Scorpio energy here. Yeah, this person I feel like wants to start over. Um, I feel like they think that um, being with you would be beneficial for, for sure. Um, but I also feel that they are prepared to move on again. Um, fixed sign energy here, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius energy. There's that four of wands again. Hmm. I feel like this person wants to not only change the situation, um, but I feel like they have changed and in them changing it's bringing success their way is bringing stability their way um, Aries energy here but I think you know this person also is somebody that likes commitment um, they like family settings here yeah Scorpio energy um, Leo energy Aries but I feel like this person is, um, there's something that has awakened in them. There's something that they've realized um, about themselves, about the situation, that they feel like, you know, this was something that needed to happen, okay? Um, but they're really just trying to focus on themselves right now is what I'm getting with the sun being here, their happiness. Um, working, working their asses off is what I'm feeling like. Um, I, I think mostly what they're doing right now is concentrating on work. They're trying to build, um, they're trying to build a legacy here, you know. Uh, and I feel like they're trying to just make sure that their home life is like, you know, stable and good with the Eight of Pentacles here. They're also working on themselves trying to gain their balance they're trying to gain stability um, and I think what they're doing is right now they're focusing on their happiness and focusing on um, work here and they're trying to balance out you know work and um, social life is what I'm getting here this person's working really really hard okay and they're trying to build this legacy, like I said, the two and the eight of pentacles is ten. And I think this is more about stability and having, you know, having everything that they they want and feel like they deserve here. Okay. So that's currently what they're going through. Um, Capricorn energy here as well. Capricorn, Leo, um, Scorpio, I feel, Aries, Virgo. Okay. So that's that person. Um, they're in a very good spot, your person. I feel like, you know, they're going into a new cycle. But I think this person um, probably will be open to a conversation because they're in a good spot now. Okay. They, they've changed, I feel. All right. So, uh oh, ask the question how does 
my person feel about me? How do they feel? How do they feel in general? What are they doing? What's going on with them right now? How do they feel? Hmm. Okay, let's do a little shuffle like this and then we'll jump into it, guys. Oh my gosh, here we go again with death and change. I feel like um, some of them are really looking at what happened in the past. Um, of course, they feel like it's over, that they need to move on, but I feel like some of, some of them are moving on kind of begrudgingly, like it's not something that they really wanted. They feel like it needed to happen, um, but you know, it's not what they really wanted leaving behind somebody that they really love, I feel. Like they were forced to. Okay. <clears throat> Changing here. Hmm. I feel like there's somebody in their energy that, um, somebody that, you know, a little less mature, maybe younger, does not have to be. But um, I think there's somebody that's interested in them. But I think that they are not, um, they're not interested. I think they haven't gotten over whatever has happened with you guys here. Water sign energy that's in their energy. King of Cups. Yeah. Scorpio energy here for sure. They're just trying to get, you know, emotionally stable here. Um, I think some of them are really, like, trying to be a better person, trying to be um, calmer, you know, act more mature here if they had a level of immaturity. Trying to be more confident here. Then we have the Ten of Cups, Pisces energy. Yeah, there. this person loves you guys. If they left, they regret leaving, okay? They wish it didn't end here. But if you guys left, they still feel the same way. They wish it did not have to end. But there's also someone else that I feel um, wants a relationship with them. They feel like they love them, that they could have everything with them. Like, you know, they are um, their ideal person. We have the devil here. Somebody's very attached. Somebody's very attached to them. But they also um, feel like you guys are like still connected. Like they can't get away from it. Um, maybe they feel like you guys belong together. Capricorn energy. Yeah. And I feel like them, they, they are too trying to, you know, whatever they need to do to be happy, um, I think they're really, really focused on that. I don't think it's by being with someone else, though, okay? I think they're just wanting to um, just be happy, you know, with what they have going on right now without a relationship is what I'm getting here. Yeah, see, then we have the Nine of Cups. This person is focusing on... Um, on themselves, what makes them happy. They're trying to figure it out. This is change here. This is change. This person's changing. They regret, you know, that you guys are not together. Um, they wish it didn't have to happen the, the way that it did, however it happened. Um, but right now, I think they're really focused on, like, if they have children, if they have, you know, family members that they care for, they're really focusing on that, really trying to. Um, just just be happy in general, okay? Feeling like they don't really need a relationship to be happy here, okay? So we have Pisces, Capricorn, um, Scorpio energy here, okay? So that is deck two. 
but somebody is really focused on them but they're not focused on that personal all right guys so let's see with deck three how they're feeling how are they feeling how are they feeling how do they feel these little cards are stiff because only been working with them for a short period of time so they're very stiff here let's see how do they feel how do they feel mm, they're waiting on you um i feel like this person you know they're not just waiting on you though um they're not going to make a move towards you I feel like this person, if you come back, you know, is fine, but they are um, at the point where they're open to other things here with the Three of Wands, okay? They're open to dating. Yeah, I think, you know, if you guys did something, I think um, they are over that. They're, they're done with that, with um, strength here. They're done with it. And um, they're just wanting to move on, do other things that make them happy. Um, Aries Leo here. Yeah. They're just wanting to start over. They're trying to gain their stability, their happiness um, in their home even. I feel like there's a door that has opened up for this person. And um, they're going for whatever it is that they're passionate about. Maybe some of them has, have started a new job or something, a business, something like that, going to school. Um, but they are, um, they're, they're just trying to advance in their life, I feel, here. Yeah. Then we have the Three of Pentacles. I feel like this person is doing um, a lot of work where they, <clears throat> they're around a lot of people. Um, they interact with people a lot. They help people here with the Three of Pentacles. They work with people. Okay. Could be somebody else that is involved in this situation. Um, Leo here. Capricorn energy. But I don't feel so much that, that they are currently working with somebody in an intimate setting. I feel like this is more so about work and doing, doing the things that make them happy. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, then we have the hermit. <clears throat> I think this person is really focusing on um, building. They're fo focusing on how they can build this connection. If they are able to compromise in this situation. What can they do? If they can do anything. I feel like this person is buried in work. They're, they're buried trying to build something for themselves here. And other people. Virgo energy. If I didn't say that already. And then we have the Ace of Swords here. Yeah. I feel like there's something that they want to say. Definitely. I don't think they know how to. I don't think they know how to, okay? And I think that um, I think that for a lot of you guys, this person, you know, they have a hard time um, letting someone in, have a hard time allowing somebody else to like take the wheel. I feel like this person likes to be in charge and control, and um, they're trying to figure they're trying to figure out if this is something they they can do okay but i feel like they want to say that you know they want to start over again i'm feeling that strongly this person really wants to say they want to start over again because i feel like they did not give their all while you guys were together they didn't and they know the truth they, they know that now, that they didn't do everything that they could do, okay? So we have um, Gemini, Libra, Libra, Aquarius here, Capricorn energy, Virgo, um, 
uh, Aries and Leo. Okay, guys? So that is your pick a deck reading, and I will be speaking with you guys soon.